What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Epic Japanese Player Pack Review. We have got Kubo, Nakamura, and Seto. Sato, Seto. You say Seto, I say Sato. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. But anyway, Kubo, Nakamura, and Seto. Both, both of these guys, right, I think are interesting. I think this guy is a little bit slow, but we will get into it. And uh, short and sweet, as usual, we will head over to eFootballDB and we'll show you how we train them up um, and stuff like that. I will probably do a training guide video for these as well because a lot of people like the more con condice, um, is that the word? Condice? Condensed, condensed videos um, and concise videos to the point, right? But these players are available the same as the Liverpool Legends. You've got 150 players in the box. You get 10 players for 900 coins and one player for 100 coins. So you've got a one in, well, three in 150 chance to get one of these um and a one in 150 to get any of these so yeah look obviously it's got reduce and balance as well that if you open 20 you know you 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 better your odds but it depends you can get lucky and you can't you you can be unlucky i've seen people clear the agent and have no players until the last spin or two and then i've you know been like me i've got halland with the showtime epics and van dyke with the fortress defenders you know my first spin so um we're going to go straight into it we're going to start with kubo a lot of people asking me about this guy there have been various versions of him released over the years this guy is a monster man he's down as a right winger here there was a center forward version of him released which i thought was excellent we did do a review of that player of the week card but you can train these players up extremely well especially as wingers that can cut inside right so the one thing that he's lacking if you are used to cutting inside a la neymar or somebody like that like son or mbappe playing on the wing he doesn't have any finishing stats he does have a long range curler and um a double touch and outside curler which you can kind of cut in and take shots with but to me this guy is more traditional kind of like speed demon winger right so he does have unwavering form which is huge even though this card is on b rating that is massive for this card because he's a winger and it is hard to get a winger that can play right mid right wing and amf and ss so i think that he's an excellent card to get is he worth spinning for i don't know i don't really think so in terms of depending on where your squad is at the moment if you've been playing for a couple of months you probably have better players in this right but i do like his player skills i do like the double touch i do like the true pass and a one touch pass very unique kind of players um player skills and a player card and then obviously when we go over to him here in eFootball db this isn't my ultimate version of him, I think, but we will do a training guide for that. But the dribble and dexterity, lower body, all at 10 each, that's going to bring us with 91 dribble and 90 tight possession, 91 ball control, 97 acceleration, still giving us room for when our player is on the up form with the best form arrow, he's going to have 99 acceleration in game in the matches with 98, 99 balance as well, depending on how he boosts up. And I do think that that is an extremely good version of him. You're going to have 91 dribbling, 97 acceleration, 96 balance. Insane with one touch pass as a winger, right? Now, this isn't probably the best version of him because I don't think you need to go that high with the dexterity. Um, in fact, I would probably just ta ta cap it at that and probably put a few more into low pass. Even though he does have one touch passing, I would like to get the one touch passing uh complemented with having his low pass and loft to pass a little higher just gives you a little bit more option but we will have a version of his training guide there and show you that because he is a creative playmaker that does come into it a little bit and a lefty as well it is going to be an interesting one a left footed player right we also have nakamura up and this guy obviously is a legend in the game you can see there he's 36 years old in the game and when we go back to Nakamura, you might kind of discount him based on his lack of pace and stuff straight off the rip, 61 pace. But I do like the fact that he's got excellent player skills, including the very rare no-look pass. Now, what this no-look pass does is it opens up opportunities for you where it kind of tricks the AI. It's kind of like coded in that, you know, the likes of Ronaldinho can pull off passes if you get the ball out of his feet. It happens every now and again where you'll just kind of like wrong foot the player and hit a lovely true pass or hit a very lovely like one touch quick pass. Um, so I think Nakamura could be a very beastly player for, you know, uh, very kind of meta players that would like to keep the ball moving as best as you possibly can and as quick as you possibly can. Double touch, long range shooting, one touch pass, true pass and way to pass and no look pass capped off with captaincy and fighting spirit and of course he has unwavering form insane right is there a bit of a favoritism towards these japanese legend players yes and rightly so i think that all the epic players should have unwavering form that's just me including the likes of torres and the likes of um gerard and stuff like that they should all have it anyone that's released especially because they're already set on b rating 
what does it really matter if they're on, on unwavering form? You know, it's the best versions of their cards from a specific match or a specific season, right? Long ball expert, long ranger. And when we do train him up over on eFootball DB, 45 levels to go, which is quite decent, lads. It is quite decent. You've got a lot of stuff that you can actually train up with him here. We've popped 12 into dribbling, dexterity, and passing. 8 into uh, lower body to get his speed up near enough to 70 with the stamina to 76. I don't think I would train him this way if it was me, um, but we will have a training guide on him. And then last but not least, we have Seto. This guy is fairly okay, but it's his lack of speed and stamina, I think, when you train him this way. And I think if you train him a, a separate way, if you try to get that acceleration down just a smidge here... To go to 8 and 8 with the dribbling is a little lacking. The passing is a little lacking if you want to bring others into the game. And then obviously if you try to boost up his stamina to 75, you are going to have to... Um, you are going to have to neglect, you know, that dexterity a little bit and the shooting a little bit. I mean, 87 is enough probably shooting, to be fair. Um, and then you could just pop the rest into dexterity to give 94 offensive awareness, 87 acceleration and 88 balance. Quite decent. But we do also have his card here to look at with the player skills that we can see there. And of course, the fact that he does have unwavering form and B rating, and then he's got, you know, all the long range shooting skills that you could want, first time shot, he's also got soul control cut behind and turn and heading, even though he's a small player, he's only 170, so similar to Romario, that is going to be how you play it, but he's just not, in my opinion, quick enough, um, you know, lightning quick enough, or, you know, dribble, dribbling is probably the biggest letdown with this card for him, because you do have to pump in a good lot into dribbling, and even at 8 pumped in, you still only have tight possession at 74, so that is kind of a, a bit of a disappointment there, I, look, all of these cards are usable, man. Like, it depends on where you are with your eFootball journey, right? If you're starting off and you've only been playing the game for a couple of weeks and you spin and you get this guy, he's going to be a monster for you. But when you put him in comparison to the likes of Eto, to the likes of Romario, like, Eto and Romario will smoke him. Like, it's just, you will finish more chances with Romario, Eto, probably Mbappe as well, depending on your play style. But saying that, you could score goals for fun with this guy. I know people that are bagging in a hat-trick every game with Inzaghi or Morientes. slow base players that are just able to finish, right? So it depends on your play style. There is no one-size-fits-all, um, you know, with these. That's kind of what the training guides are for. I usually give two options, whether you're a possession, comfortable on-the-ball type player that likes to take their time breaking opponents down, or whether you're a quick, you know, meta-type player. They're the two training guides that I do. And then you can also fall in between two of those that if you like to mix it up, you know, if you like to play a bit of possession, but kind of quicken it up every now and again, hit people on the break, but also like hold on to the ball. So there's a lot of different stuff in the training guide videos. But that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. We will be streaming, obviously, hopefully Thursdays and Fridays. So we will try and open a few of those. But until next time, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you guys are going to spin for these. I think Kubo looks like a monster, man. We will do a training guide to him. Until next time, peace.